So you're wondering if you should invest in an incline bench for your home gym, but you're not sure if you'd use it enough to warrant purchasing one. If that's you, you're in the right place. I recently got a giant F85 adjustable bench that I use every day for myself and my clients. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how I use it and what drew me to it and the features of the bench. So there's really three pros to getting a really nice incline bench. And the first thing I wanna look for is that it is sturdy. This 84 pound bench offers a sturdy base with an 11 gauge steel, seven gauge ladder. This bench has a high density foam underneath the grippy padding, which is going to allow for a better transition of power with less give compared to other bench options. When I'm doing stuff like step ups, bench press, single arm rows, or even hip thrusts, I want something that I can trust to remain firm throughout my set. I've used smaller or cheaper benches at facilities I've trained at and ultimately ran into stability issues with smaller benches. Next are the dimensions. This bench is 18 inches sitting flat and 51 inches long. And as someone who's 6'1", it's kind of cool to be able to fully curl or overhead press against a bench. I find it obnoxious settling into benches that are shorter in length where my entire upper body isn't supported. This pad is also 12 inches wide, which gives my torso full support, whether I'm benching or doing chest supported work like rows or hamstring curls. It was nine inches at the top and then widened out to 12 inches in the lower back, but they've adjusted this bench to now just be 12 inches wide the entire way. The third thing I'm looking for on a bench is options. If you're thinking you'll save a few bucks to get a bench that isn't adjustable, I would advise against it. The extra $100 is well worth the additional options you'll get when inclining a bench. The F85 is easily adjustable and comes with 12 different back adjustment options. 0 degrees, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 75, and 85, as well as three seat pad adjustments at 0, 15, and 30 degrees. One of my favorite things to do is a mechanical drop set from shoulder press to incline to bench press, and this took that to a next level. It rolls around easily in my 13 by 8 foot space like a little R2 unit playing Tetris, so I have no issues getting it around. It retails for 380, but compared to Rogue's similar 3.0 adjustable bench at 605, I'd say it's a great price for a piece of equipment that is an essential piece to your gym. Plus, I was able to use a 10% off code that you can check out in the description. Question or comments? Drop them below in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe for future reviews in the future. My name is Paul Klingen, and I'll catch you on the next Return of the Athlete video.